Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you one of my dry brushing techniques and showing you how I make this reproduction resin mirror appear like weathered stone. The same as any other painting project, we need to start by cleaning. So for this I'm going to be using Windoline. The added vinegar in this solution is great for removing grease and dirt. Due to the paint that I'll be using, it's not essential that I sand here. However, we want a very squeaky clean surface for the paint to stick to, so it's really important we give everything a thorough clean. To start, I'm going to be using French Chic paint in the colour Blackjack. This is a no-prime mineral paint and it will act as our base, blocking out any of the gold finish and provide a good foundation for our dry brushing technique later on. And for this, I'm using a natural fibre oval brush and I believe three coats will be sufficient for this colour. As you can see here, I have left the mirror in. Originally, I was planning on scraping the paint back off the glass later, but you'll see shortly, I did decide it was better to remove the glass to achieve a better finish. I'm now giving the back two thorough coats of paint, just to make sure that we don't have any gold peeking through. And now it's time for the third and final coat which will complete our base layer and now that this is on I'm going to leave it for two hours or so to dry thoroughly before moving on to my dry brushing technique. So for my first colour I've chosen Spitfire, this is a lovely cool toned mid grey and using an old natural fibre oval brush I dip into my paint really lightly and using the lid of the tin I'm wiping off the paint which leaves behind a very faint layer of paint on the brush. So here I'm moving quite quickly and adopting a dusting motion with my brush. I sweep the first colour across the frame, not pushing hard at all, and only really hitting the more pronounced carvings on the mirror. This is where our base colour comes into play here, as it creates depth and lots of shadow, which is what we want. So with this style of dry brushing, it is a very gradual process. I move around the mirror and keep layering and layering and building up the grey until I'm happy with the coverage and the effect. I do still want lots of shadow and depth to the frame, so I'm not pushing the paint deep down inside the carvings at all.
So I found that when layering cool tone greys over black, it can make them appear more blue, which I don't want. So to warm this up, I'm adding a neutral grey on top, which will add some warmth and cancel out any of the blue tones. Additionally, this extra layer will also help me achieve the stone look I want as it's adding more texture and variance in colour, which stone would naturally have. This is how things are looking so far with my two layers of grey paint over my black base layer. So for my third and final colour I've chosen a classic white chalk paint which I've left the tin open for around an hour or so now just to let the air get to it causing it to thicken up. The aim here is to hit the very fine tips and add white highlights over the frame to simulate stone which has weathered and give the frame added dimension. So I did actually forget to film this step, but I left things to dry for about two hours or so. And then I came back with a layer of clear wax and buffed this off just to protect the paint. And we are finished. So this is just to refresh our memory of how this mirror looked before. And here is the finished mirror back up on the wall with the glass back in. This is a really easy painting technique and is great if you have leftover paint from other projects as it doesn't require a ton of paint at all. You can also switch out these colours and play around with different colour combinations as well. So thanks for sticking around to the end and I hope you all enjoyed this video on dry brushing. Please remember, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you all again soon.